first Christmas morn They followed the manger Where Jesus was born The Son of God Had no place to call home But on Calvary's mountain the cross was his own. From a lad Jesus followed the fish and the bread. He blessed it and broke it, and thousands he paid.
sin Teaching worldly pleasures And modern day trends Having mercy on me Time and time again Jesus would speak Offering to make my mother happy, just to ease her troubled mind. But before I could be seated, God would speak to me so loud. I did not think but tremble till the Now, not too long ago, I decided that it was just about time that I gave my life to Jesus. For well, you see, my time was just about gone. I couldn't face the problems of this life all alone, and I knew that. But when I went into the church that day, just waiting for the Lord to speak, I felt nothing. Nothing at all. Then I fell on my knees, crying, God, hear my plea. Speak to me, oh Lord, just one more.
people say they never own a hatchet. They say that it's been very many years. But if a brother steps on their toes and hurts their feelings, it's amazing how that hatchet man appears. Some people say their hatchet has been buried. But I know that the handle's always sticking out. Well, if someone does them wrong, they won't get it.
rebirth of freedom. And that the government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. And I believe that man. And I also believe the great inspiration and influence of this great book in our country is what has made America so great. Because you see, God has truly blessed America. Yes, God has blessed America. You know, this old country of ours, the USA, it hasn't been 100% right in all the things it has done. But I'll tell you one thing, there's a lot more right than wrong with it. We look around the world today and we see bombings, shellings, killings, refugees, wars, offerings, hunger and starvation, disputed borders and boundaries, and more bombings. It seems like it's never really over, over there. I don't know about you, but as for me, I'm persuaded that America is still the best. And when they say, America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. I hope the time never comes that when that flag goes by, that I don't somehow get a little chill up my spine. Because let me tell you, we have something awful good going for us in America today. And you know, as I look back at our recent time of turmoil in government, I thank God that our Constitution did prevail. I thank God that our Congress and our country did not contaminate the waters of freedom because we didn't like the bucket it came in. Because you see, we have a new bucket now. So come on, America. Let's begin to rekindle that true spirit of 76. Let's give our country perhaps one of the finest gifts that we could ever give. Let's give a little bit of ourselves back to America. God bless our flag. God bless our people.